Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello, my dear students. Today we are going to talk about one of the most interesting topic of science, that is melting point and boiling point. So, to understand melting point and boiling point, we need to understand matter. What is matter? Matter is any substance that has mass and takes up space, takes up space by having volume. So. Uh, there are th three stages of uh, matter that, that are solid, liquid and gas. In nature, we see different kinds of substances in these three forms. So, what is melting point and what is boiling point? Melting is actually a process in which a solid substance changes its state into a liquid. And melting point is a point at which a particular solid substance starts melting. So actually melting point denotes the temperature at which is solid starts getting converted into a liquid state in a process called melting. Different substance has different kind of melting point. If we look at water, uh, the solid form of water is ice. And the melting point of ice is 0 degree Celsius or 273 Kelvin. And uh, helium has the lowest uh, melting point that is minus 272 degree Celsius. And carbon has the highest melting point that is 3550 degree Celsius. So what is boiling point? Boiling point is the temperature at which a material changes from a liquid to a gas. So look at here, there is a picture of state of matter and how a substance changes from solid to liquid and liquid to gas is shown in this picture. So uh, what about boiling point? Boiling point is also different for different substance. Think about water. Uh, water boils at 32 water boils at 100 degree Celsius or 212 degree Fahrenheit. But if we uh, boil alcohol, al uh, the boiling point of alcohol is 180.7 degree Fahrenheit or 82.6 degree Celsius. So I have given some substance which has a specific melting point here. A melting point of water, melting point of nitrogen is minus 209.9 degree Celsius. Melting point of sulfur is 961.93 degree Celsius. Melting point of carbon is 3500 degree Celsius. So which element have the highest melting point? The chemical element with the highest melting point is tungsten which is 3414 degrees Celsius. This property makes tungsten excellent for use as filament in light bulbs. Here is the picture of tungsten. Now we will talk about decaying of metal. So what is this actually? If we keep a spoon made of iron in, on, in an open environment, we see, we can see after a uh, two or three weeks that there is a cover of brownish cover of ferric oxide which is called as rust. So rust is an actually iron oxide. Uh, it is actually a reddish brown oxide formed by the reaction of iron and uh, oxygen. Sorry, reaction of water and oxygen of iron in the presence of water or air moisturizer. So, which metals don't rust? Aluminium, brush, bronze, copper, platinum, gold and galvanized steel don't rust easily. But we see uh, there is greenish blue uh, corrosion if we keep copper in an open environment for long days. So, how can we prevent the rusting of metal there are some ways that we can prevent there are some ways that we can use for preventing rust or corrosion in metal that is galvanizing painting and electroplating have you seen car i think all of 
you have seen cars and bicycle and it is painted with different kind of colors maybe red or maybe black or maybe blue or some other color so uh, do you think these uh, cars and bicycles are painted just to make it beautiful yes this is one of the reason but there is one uh, there is the most important reason lying behind is that to protect the iron body of car or the steel body of car from rusting that's why there is the galvanizing process or the painting process uh, happens so what is galvanizing galvanizing is actually coating with a protective layer of zinc it protects iron from oxygen and water of air and painting to avoid corrosion with, uh, we can paint iron and steel bodies with color and there is also another process which is known as electroplating electroplating is the process of plating one metal onto another by hydrolysis all of you have seen uh, seen ship in sea so uh, what happens in ship is that ship is galvanized before go, uh, going to the sea why because the zinc oxide can corrode faster than iron that's why there is the blend of zinc and iron which can protect the ship from the uh, salty water of sea i have given some picture of painting and electroplating so you can understand better thanks everyone